OK, so some more calculations applying the concept of molar volume. Don't forget that one mole of any gas at STP, standard temperature and pressure, occupies 22.4 litres, which is 22.4 decimeters cubed. Same thing. So using 200 grams of calcium carbonate and this equation, let's look at the carbon dioxide. How many moles of gas are produced? And what's the volume of the gas at STP? Well, I like to draw out this little grid. Maybe you're doing the factor label method and good luck to you. I hate that. So moles mass and molar mass. The IB likes calcium carbonate, so do I. Because 200 grams of calcium carbonate and a molar mass of 100 grams per mole for calcium carbonate, well, that's convenient. That gives me moles is mass over molar mass. That gives me two moles of calcium carbonate. Now the top line is the ratio line must be reflected in the coefficients. So one is to two, as two is to four, as one is to two, as one is to two, as one is to two. Okay. So there's two moles of carbon dioxide gas produced. Now one mole of any gas at STP has a volume of 22.4 litres. Well, we've got two moles of gas. So the volume of two moles of carbon dioxide, well, that's double, and that's 44.8 litres. Oh, and one sig fig, I suppose that's 40 litres. Yuck. Right, let's look at another question. So if I have four grams of a gas, it's a STP, and it's got a volume of 22.4 litres, which element is that? Well, one mole, 22.4 litres of STP is four grams, so I can work out it's four grams per mole, which is helium. And a variation on that thing for question two. Is what's the mass of 2.24 decimeters cubed of neon? Assuming STP, so we can write it out like a little ratio line. One mole is 22.4 liters of any gas, and that's 20 grams for helium. And so just by looking, I've divided it by 10, everything there by 10, and my answer comes out as two grams.